Ah, love is in the air. So grab your sweetheart and your favorite snack and join us as we bring you a very special Valentine's episode of You Tried It! You Tried Dead, Valentine's Day. I'm Nick Novak, and I'm pal Shade Hancock. Howdy! Nick Geiger. I love you guys. Yeah, love is hey, in the nice. air, gents. Let's spread it around. Come here, come in for a hug. Oh. Oh, wait, you're on the What's other side a, of the computer what screen. Valentine's Day uh, gift would you like to get, right? I'm assuming maybe you, you, you might not like flowers or a teddy bear. No. Um, but do you want candy or you want something different? I want head. That's what I want. <laughs> you want something a, different? A severed head from a human body? <laughs> yeah, yes, I want a head. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. I would say in past years, like I would definitely like a bag of Reese's Hearts or something. You know, oh, like yeah. that. That would be a good mm-hmm. Valentine's gift. But but this year, I am trying to uh, cut back on the sweets a little bit. Now, I did go to Costco the other day almost specifically to try their new 750 calorie chocolate chip cookie. Uh, <laughs> so is that what it's called? Is that how it's advertised? No, yeah. it's, it's, it's just the Costco <laughs> chocolate chip cookie, but it's only, you know, it's not that big. It's like maybe the size of like a, I don't know, an Otis Spunkelmeyer cookie or something. If you guys know that size, like mm-hmm. uh, the, the <laughs> diameter of a baseball, a well-known guess, size of a cookie. <laughs> it's a chocolate chip cookie. It's the diameter of like a baseball basically, or maybe, okay. you know, and, um, <laughs> And so it's a lot of calories for a chocolate chip cookie. Um, but I'm here to report I did not eat the full 750 calories because the cookie was uh, nasty. So, oh, wow. oh, bad? Yeah, bad. it was like, like yeah, it was burnt on the outside and undercooked slash raw on the inside. Hmm. And it was just like all sugar. It was like way too sweet. Uh, so I, wow. I took like two bites and then threw it away. <laughs> Back to the Yoda Spunkelmeyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they got rid of the churro for that, which, I mean, I don't care about churros, but you'd think you couldn't fuck up a chocolate chip cookie, you know? Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> been Costco lately. So, on to Chad's true love. Fuck Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Valentine's Day? I want to talk about chocolate for an hour now. Yeah, hour. I'm trying to cut back on the sweets. Here's 20 <laughs> minutes of snack food news. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So uh, here's what this guy did for Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy in Alabama, oh, uh, went into a Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> yep. I oh, I saw this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, did he fuck a fish or something? No. <laughs> he stripped well, maybe. nude. <laughs> All right. Got mm-hmm. in his birthday suit and cannonballed into the aquarium that they have in the center. <laughs> 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 Why do you have to be nude to do that? I want to get well, your clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> you got to drive home afterward or you, <laughs> to the jail. <laughs> you want to feel those slippery fish slithering like along your belly or whatever? I don't think there's fish in there, is there? Maybe. They have an aquarium with no fish? Yeah, it's I suppose called it aquarium, an aquarium, so I'm assuming yeah. it's got to have maybe there's yeah. something. You did just there. like, here's just a big fucking empty tank of water. Yeah. For fun. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's like a pool or something. I, know. I yeah, guess there's right. Bass Pro Shop. There's probably yeah, if there's no there's fish not. in there, it's a swimming pool, and this man's actions were justified. It's Ass Pro Shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's got his ass then, I guess outside of the uh, pool, they then have like a little waterfall, which he climbed up upon, um, showing the world, and then <laughs> jumped back in. It says he ran over and yelled at some police officers and then jumped back in. So. Was he mm-hmm. hammered or high or something? <laughs> I assume one of those. He was high on life, <laughs> I think, yeah. probably. Yeah. Just loving life. He had, he had just downed three Costco cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar rush of his life. <laughs> he was showing off his old Otis Munkelmeyer in the fast <laughs> truck shop tank. <laughs> And he stand at the, sort of the top of the waterfall and he goes, I am a golden Spunkelmeyer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to think about the Bass Pro Shop near where we you guys been in that Bass Pro Shop in Gurney where near yeah. where we yeah. grew up. I don't think they have like I don't think their aquarium is that deep. I guess I haven't been in there in probably ten years. But I don't remember there being something that you could dive into, you know. 
I mean, I, I never really sized it up as to whether it <laughs> you was didn't, swimming you didn't worthy, so like, I have no idea. Case, case the joint? <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what, is there any, if you, you walk into a Bass Pro Shop, Mm-hmm. Where the fuck? Like, I guess Geiger, you fish, maybe. Yeah. So maybe you look. <laughs> Where at Where the fuck stuff. do you go? What the <laughs> fuck is it for? No, I've I've gotten a fishing rod there. I've Flannel gotten some shirt. lures. But, well, I actually what I got Sweat there shirts that say Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> I was there. Things I don't want. Last last year actually, because I had to get um, extra warm uh, long underwear to go to like Packer games. So mm-hmm. they have stuff like that, like hip waders, nets. Uh, guns, knives. Oh yeah, yeah. Guns, uh, tackle boxes. I do buy all my guns there. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> Bass Pro. It's kind of funny because I I don't know why, but like my my brother, past guest of the podcast, friend of the podcast, David, and I would like we used to just like to go to Bass Pro shops, and like mm-hmm. neither of us really like. I mean, I guess Dave has like fished in his day, and he's like. He used to have a kayak and stuff like that. Like so, camping stuff and yeah, hiking he's, stuff. He's and, a yeah. little bit more of an outdoorsman than than me. Like to mm-hmm. me, like at Bass Pro Shop, there's they don't they don't sell like couch cushions pre imprinted to my ass. <laughs> so there's like nothing really for me to buy there. Chad's a but, classic indoorsman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I remember, um, yeah the the only tent. <laughs> The only tent I'm dealing with is the one in my pants when I'm talking about chocolate chip cookies. But um, (laughs) I I remember when David first moved out to the Bay Area and we were like, we actually looked up like, is there a Bass Pro Shop? And and the closest one is in Tracy, which is like an hour and a half uh, at least east of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And so we like got in the car and like drove all the way out to Tracy just wow. to go Did to the Bass Pro Shop. No, we just walked around the Bass Pro Shop and we're like, all right, here's some, you know, here's a compound bow. Let's look at that for a minute. <laughs> and then like, oh, the yeah, we scoped out the aquarium for future uh, skinny dips. And then you drove straight 90 minutes back home. Yeah. Then then we went back home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but why? <laughs> to check out the Bass Pro Shop. I don't, that's the thing. I don't know. Like, why am I going to a Bass Pro Shop? But it was like just a, a thing, to, you know, it was a thing okay. to do. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> now, I could see your dad going to Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, he just because there's flannels, like there's flannels <laughs> and big like jeans, one flannel to wear, work yeah, boots. Exactly. Yeah, your dad loves the cannonball, a trucker's hat. Yeah, <laughs> a nice trucker hat. Yeah, a knife or something. Get trash, jump in the aquarium. <laughs> Seven hundred fifty calorie fish. <laughs> the world's fattiest. <laughs> sugariest fish <laughs> it's a giant swedish fish just one around there <laughs> it's too raw on the inside <laughs> like jumps into the aquarium and just starts taking out fish with a compound bow look at me go yeah <laughs> i have been in many a sad looking bait shop in my life in wisconsin there's like a, we went in that fishing trip we'd go up there and I, we remember that we were there with like my buddies from work and then one of my buddies from works, his father-in-law would come and one of his friends and his kids came. And one of the kids like we're in this like middle of fucking nowhere, like gas pump bait shop bar slash bar that had like the video poker in the back. And some like some woman that looked like the gristle you cut off a steak, just playing fucking video (laughs) poker in the back. (laughs) And and so, and she's like, oh, you Flatlanders. And one of my friends is like, he's from Wisconsin. She goes, why'd you leave? I'm like, I'm going to move over here now. Because you look like the gristle from a steak. (laughs) That's why. But like, one of the guys is like, yeah, excuse me. Do you have a charger for like an iPhone 11 Max Pro or something? And the bartender just like looked. I thought the bartender was going to shoot him. This is Bass Pro, not Max Pro. What are you doing here? (laughs) Yeah, it was no. Did this they? was no. They didn't. Do, no, no. Uh, the do you have a charger for an iPhone 11. <laughs> Did you vote for Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep him at the bottom of the aquarium. Get yeah. down there and look. <laughs> Shove his head down. There. I've got Better a dusty look again. can it's of un- Ham's it, beer. That's all I've got. <laughs> it's underneath the piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the one charging cord and the cable or in the entire store he's is like uh he's like oh yeah turn around it's over there and then he's got the one charging cord and comes up behind him and just starts choking him out with it <laughs> I'll i show think you the charging cord 
It's a charging cord, and then the <laughs> lightning port you hook in. And he like he like does a big wheel, and he grinds away at it, and like and charges it up like a hamster wheel. Uh, it's no. a ca- caveman style of charging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, it's always it's always the same group of guys in those same, like, group of people. You got the weirdos, the grizzled steak lady, the old like truculent bartender who doesn't want to talk to anyone, and then like. The guys who came in from that morning, like pumping up the butt. It's like ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we caught about thirty bad. Yeah, no, you no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You caught maybe thirty Bud Lights. Shut the fuck up. Like they're <laughs> they're, they're all hammered. <laughs> hey, jumping in the boat. All right, cool man. Take care. You got the new iPhone charger. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I caught a really good charge out of the lake. <laughs> I got three G. <3G. laughs> <laughs> All right, let's eat those snacks. <laughs> We've got three Japanese <laughs> potato chips <laughs> for you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I caught three bags of Japanese chips in the bottom of the lake. <laughs> I got this Japanese phone with no charger. <laughs> um, we rate them on a five point scale. I like that, or I love that, like that, indifferent to that, dislike that, and hate that. Let's start with the rich, buttery potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yamayoshi is the company. Yep. And then a lot of um, writing that we can't understand except for rich, buttery potato chips. So you need to know. You got any Yamamoshi chips? What? My grandpappy was at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> We have the shoestring <laughs> potatoes in the can. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. These are buttery. <laughs> they are buttery. That isn't. I know it said rich buttery, but this flavor is still surprising to me. Yeah. It's like sweet almost, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. It's a sweet butter for sure. The I love these some package has two sugary butter frying butter pads. <laughs> there could be 750 calories in this. We can't tell. Oh, it actually, it does say on the back. 271. Really odd amount. Of 271 for how many though? Not the whole bag, right? There's eight servings. Eight in each servings container. per container. Yeah. So. No, it says serving one bag though. Serving size one bag. Oh. What? So how is it eight <laughs> servings per container? <laughs> Oh, I, th- I forgot to tell you, this came in a bag of much smaller bags. <laughs> this is okay. a fucking Inception chips. So there's like bags inside the bags. How deep does it go? With the store I got, there was a big tank up front full of <laughs> bags floating around. I just fished some out. They are right that the Japanese are far ahead of us in academics because I cannot fucking understand how there's <laughs> one serving here, but there's eight in a bag. <laughs> At least someone finally <laughs> spoke the truth and said, a serving is one fucking bag. You're going to eat the whole fucking bag. So stop pretending that this isn't a serving size. I'm not going to eat this whole bag. I mean, either. But. <laughs> All right. Geiger. Um, I will. A little preview in that I had given these. My wife opened them right before I came down. Mm-hmm. Told me that these were a love debt for her. Whoa! Okay, that no. that helps me with nothing. That that's not a <laughs> that's not a preview. That but, is inevitable. Um, that that's the same amount of information as if you had just remained silent for the last thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Chip, uh, mm-hmm. this is a Chip episode. It's yeah. Mr. Chip on Valentine's Day. Mm. Um, my true so love, my one true love is Chip. Talk yeah. about the chips the way I talk about Otis Spunkelmeyer, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, preach to me, Mr. Chip. What do you think? Yeah, this is actually a really difficult one because. I, the chip itself is a nice texture. It's like crunchy, but it's not like, it's like a slightly crispier Lay's potato chip. The, it's got, it almost tastes like there's like some sort of salt or garlic or something in there. Like I hit the garlic, which I like a lot. And I like a butter, like actually butter, a buttery chip makes sense. It's just, it's kind of like a sweet cream butter, which is weird to me. And I don't love the sweetness. So I just, uh, I still kind of like, there's something about them I keep eating. I kind of like them. I think I'm going to be alone on this one. I'm going to give it a like that, like a soft like that, not like a rock hard like that, like I don't really give it. But 
Um, I'm going to give it like a low level like that, but I, and it's, it, it's on the verge of it and different cause that sweetness is weird, but I, there's something about them that has me continue eating them. Mm-hmm. Ted, you guys ever order, you know, you go to a fancy steakhouse, right? You order a mm-hmm. baked potato. Yeah. Comes out. You throw a huge pad of butter on there. Get that buttery right. all mm-hmm. melty in the baked potato. Then you take like 10 sugar packets and sprinkle it all over your baked potato. You guys do that a lot? I remember that. Uh Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because that's that's like, I mean, that's what this flavor reminds me of is that time that I commonly do, that thing I commonly do in steakhouses. Um, The the sweetness is off-putting to me, and it, and it, it really does cancel out what is otherwise, I think, like a pretty good chip, right? Like I like butter and potato. That flavor is good. The, the crispiness of the chip is good too. Um, but the but the sweetness there and in the aftertaste, the sweetness is is really not great. Uh, so that just kind of brings it down to me. Um, I'm not going to go all the way to dislike because I do think there are some positive qualities here in this chip, but it is a very low indifferent to that for me. Um, this feels like the type of flavor that if you grew up eating it, like maybe I'd like it more. It's yeah, just like so yeah. mm-hmm. foreign and different, and I. This is like mixing flavors that I'm not used to and uh, don't taste great to me. But I, I keep eating like a few of them, right? So it's it's mm-hmm. not terrible. I could see liking these, but uh, I think they're just in middle of the road. I'm going to go a second indifferent to that. So we've got a like and two indifference. These foreign flavors of potato and butter. <laughs> I'm never, <laughs> what are these ingredients? <laughs> I know what you mean, though. I'm, I can't. I'm, there's I'm, no other chips yeah, know, like this in the U.S., right? This like, foreign math of. where eight <laughs> equals one. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? All right. This? The next up, uh, Koikea potato chips. Is that right? Mm, I think so. We'll go with that. Is there any other English? Koikea has created a culture and history of Japanese potato chips since 1962. Uh, I think these are in English. nori flavored. So mm-hmm. some, because I can read a little bit of Japanese. Uh, oh, and nori, of course. Uh, seaweed, right? Seaweed. Okay. This one Ooh. is just straight they up. They definitely smell size one bag. Cool. There's no confusion here. And there's 337 calories in this bag. So, so far, both these chips combined, less than one Costco cookie. <laughs> These chips, uh, they have like a noticeable covering on it, little green spices. They smell like seaweed for sure. Yeah, that is that is a pungent odor for sure. It really, really hits you. We've had a number of seaweed snacks on this pod. None of them ever get uh, all that outstanding of ratings. Uh, I'm not really seaweed crew. This is a little different form than we've seen it before. Chad, what do you think of these bad boys? Did you drive 90 minutes to get these? <laughs> Imagine the Bass Pro Shop that's selling like Japanese potato chips. <laughs> yeah, we got them Japanese chips over there. <laughs> I don't know. Like, ever. Who's that? I think I thought he was from New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> we got them Japanese chips down in the bayou. <laughs> um, Bayou's pro shop. <laughs> but I, I don't know why. Yeah, like why would a why would a Bass Pro Shop worker in the middle of the Central Valley, California, have like a wild accent? I don't know. But I, these things, uh, these things are good. Um, I don't know. Like I like seaweed as a flavor and I think the, it's not too strong. Like the, the smell is strong. The smell is a little strong than I would like, but the flavor is not nearly that strong. It's much more of a subtle. (laughs) 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 Uh, It's, it's, it's It's much more of a, of a subtle, um, seaweed flavor there. And, and I kind of like that. I think the combination works well. Uh, these are these are pretty addictive. It's again got a good crunch. Uh, these are very strong like that for me. I'm gonna agree. These are very tasty. Um, I don't have strong opinions about a lot of chips, 
one that we did like way back in like the first 30 episodes was the salt and pepper chip. And that had turned me on to salt and pepper chips forever since. I get them every time I see them. Um, and this reminds me a little bit of that for some reason. It just has like this nice extra bit of saltiness to it. And that seaweed, I don't like seaweed in general. This is the the best form I've ever had it in. Uh, sprinkled on top of a salty <laughs> chip. <laughs> the lightest dusting of seasoning. <laughs> this is I my keep... favorite seaweed preparation. <laughs> potato chip. I keep going back for more. I rarely do this with the salty snack on this pod in five Uh-oh. years. Uh-oh. I'm going to give these a love, Dad. I think they're outstanding. Mm. Wow. Nice. Ge- Geiger, what do you think? I think they're really tasty. I think they're tasty AB, which means as bitch, Mm -hmm. Um, as we all know. We all know. (laughs) Tasty as bass. Tasty OS, which means Otis (laughs) Spunkelmeyer. I I like seaweed in all its forms, not just... uh, like sprinkled into a bag of chips. However, your favorite seaweed preparation is at the bottom of the aquarium as you're diving mm-hmm. for cannonballing <laughs> yeah. for it. Yeah. I like <laughs> my what fresh. That guy was looking for. <laughs> yeah. I'm so He's hungry. like, I dropped a bag of chips down there earlier. I would <laughs> trying to get some seaweed flavoring on it. And then he had the chips and the seaweed at the same time, and like his mind exploded, and he invented <laughs> Koyeka chips. Um, I know. I think these are really tasty. I the thing I've liked most about both of these is like the consistency of the chip. It's like crunchy, but it's not. It's still light. It's not like a crunchers type chip, but it's like not. I feel like sometimes when you eat those Jays or Lays, they just kind of disintegrate yeah. in your mouth when you eat them. These are really good. The flavor is really good. They're nice and salty. I'm gonna do another high level like that. I can't quite go love, but I, I really really like these a lot. All right, really strong score. Where do we get these chips from? All of these chips are from a store in Arlington Heights named Mitsua, which is okay. a like a Asian grocery yeah, store yeah, slash yeah. food court. All right, guys, it's Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. and the uh, this is a segment we've done many times, but mm-hmm. it's I've been in the habit of putting music to our segment. So here's our brand new intro. <laughs> you don't know the song? It sounds oh. like the like a Nintendo like a Nintendo theme song. Oh, somebody to love. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it like weirdly <laughs> off key? <Yeah. laughs> Why no, does it sound like it's done in a Casio calculator. <laughs> because Craigslist is weirdly off key. Oh uh, boy! Back to the Craigslist. Uh, there's people on Craigslist looking for love on Valentine's Day. You know, you know, when you do this, it's just more work for me when I do chat YTP. You know that, right? <laughs> it made me think when you were doing the segments last week, I was like, oh, I need to put more music. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make him work for his fucking lazy AI segment. <laughs> All right. Um, I've found seven stories on Craigslist or stories with people looking at missed connections. Um, they met someone, they regretted not saying something, or had a relationship they're looking to restart, and it's Valentine's Day. So uh, here's an example. One said, a lady at Garland Target, you were at Target walking around. Uh, you were beautiful. We locked eyes for a bit and smiled. I'm 29, tattoos, beard. I had a hat and a blue shirt on. It's a long shot, but why not try? Why not try, right? So we're going to follow this guy's advice let's see you're gonna tell me if these people have uh no chance at getting together or if there's gonna be romance hopefully there'll be some romance today the first one is you are the guy driving the fire truck right okay it says well i liked you and would love to know you better that's it that's the it. Guy. What? <laughs> you, you are the, the guy, guy. <laughs> the guy driving the fire. You truck. are the guy that stole the fire truck and engaged in a <laughs> twenty-mile police chase. You know how you call the fireman the guy driving the fire. <laughs> truck. Is this? 
Does it at least give location and like time and date and stuff, or is it just no. you were no? the guy driving the fire truck? <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you and want to know you better. So, Chad, um, I mean, someone they could find probably. <laughs> you think there's a good chance at romance here? I mean, if it's post on a small enough, like if it's post on the Craigslist board for you know, like some small 500 person city or whatever, the Gurney Craigslist board. <laughs> <laughs> If it's on Sockville.Craigslist.com, there's only one <laughs> firefighter. He's a horse. <laughs> you are the mayor. And uh, the <laughs> this, you know, in a, I mean, maybe I've said this on the pod before, but in an alternate reality, this could be me that they were talking about. Because I always said I, I wanted to be, if I hadn't become like a, you know, a, a programmer, I always wanted to be a firefighter. That was like my like my career that I had. Were you hot in another reality too? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because like I was standing close to the fire and so yeah. <laughs> physically warm. <laughs> but uh, but not hot at all because my face is covered in burn scars. <laughs> what do you but, think uh, firefighters do? They don't stand in the fire. <laughs> I mean uh, when you're when you're the type of guy that doesn't that is an endorsement like me, then maybe that's what you do. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think, um, but man, and the thing is like all the firefighters could have driven the fire truck, right? Like, except for, I guess the, yep. I guess the only ones they're not referring to here is the female firefighters. I'm guessing they probably have like designated someone whose job it is to drive, right? Certain people. Someone's better at it than others. Probably, all right. So, but, so you narrowed it down to like a third of the department yeah. then or something, maybe. None of the women, right? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I, uh, man, I think that's just they really needed to add more details here. Uh, they should have at least said this was alternate reality, Chad. Uh, so I am going <laughs> to say no chance here. Uh, Geiger? I mean, you probably knew what community it was by the side of the fire truck said, like, Milwaukee or Boston or whatever. Yeah, and the fire trucks have like big numbers on them usually saying yeah, like which, you know. Go to the fucking firehouse. These there. <laughs> I believe this one was from a small town called yeah. Miami. Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the fucking Miami fire department and be like, uh-huh. "You're hot. Let's go out." Like, you know what? It's not that's not tricky. And firefighters uh, notoriously will just go out anyone. with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's they, it they'll is. show you their fire hose, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't. Mm-hmm. I think I'm with Chad. I think it's they'll like stay you in have the middle of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it the Miami Heat. They just stand in the middle of the flame. <laughs> uh, I just think it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not do i just it, stamp it out with my boots or what am i supposed to do well Can first I of all sit on the sh- fire to put it out <laughs> you should have wore a helmet but now you're half your face is on fire again <laughs> um i just don't know there's better ways to go about this is all i'm saying like just go to the firehouse and be like you with the the, the dick. Let's go. F- just go hang out. <laughs> you with the dick. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, with yeah. the dick. Who me? <laughs> no, the one with the dick. <laughs> no, your dick was oh, yeah, that that's one. Not me. Me? No, <laughs> mine was burned off. I'm still <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much nothing on Hancock's body works. You're probably not talking about him. Uh, so no, I don't think there's any chance for romance here. All right. Well, maybe you like this one better. Probably not. I'll still take you even with your rap sheet. <laughs> this person's a mummy they're dating they're dating a mummy i saw your picture today in the mug shots on the tribune website you look fantastic especially for a girl <laughs> who has just been busted for pot oh that i believe that it, <laughs> i believe that every gal deserves a second chance and i want to be the guy who gives it to you please write back and let me know uh that you're free i'm willing to wait 60 days if that's what it takes <laughs> uh, the patience of a saint to this guy All right, 60 whole that. days yeah. <laughs> okay guy what do you think yeah this made a lot more sense when you realized that the woman it, it's a woman that that's a guy pursuing a woman because a guy that's a typical guy response of like oh, there's a picture of a woman i want to fuck her yeah. so like just like see if he can have sex with the woman um <laughs> <laughs> and again, 
hopefully like 60 days from now. 60 days from now. <laughs> Within credit, 60 days. Credit to him, he tried to make it kind of funny, and it's not like she is in jail for some like horrible crime. Or I mean, it's like right. marijuana possession. Who gives a fuck? So, um, I mean, maybe. I guess I don't. Again, I as much as these you curves, are ever knows. <laughs> I know you like to have sex. <laughs> are you the mysterious Bath Pro Shop swimmer? <laughs> I like what I saw, unless the glass distorted the view of your penis. Um, so I would say, I mean, again, Craigslist is, just seems like a bafflingly inefficient way to meet somebody however of I, I think this was clever enough and maybe she's feeling low and just wants a guy to take care of her and keep her out of jail for a little bit smoke all her weed with her uh so maybe, maybe i don't know, whatever yeah maybe there's a chance for romance here yeah there we go chad no like Ooh. okay <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is this is the prison equivalent of just like sliding into some instagram influencers dms and like hoping for the best right like like th- th- the best Missed con- into your CLs. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, the best, uh, the best mis- <laughs> Jesus Christ. The best misconnections, right? The person, mm-hmm. it, it jogs something in the person's memory. So they're like, oh, yes, I remember that person who I drove past in the fire truck. And I also right. thought they were hot. So let's meet up. But if you're just like, hey, I saw you from afar. Because you were in the newspaper, that's very afar. Like the definition of afar <laughs> is the newspaper. Uh, and you have no idea what I look like, who I am. We yeah. had no interaction. I'm it's a hot. complete random stranger to you. There is no chance for that. All right, uh, we got to sell Chad. We'll sell Chad one of these. This yeah, one. Chad's like a grumpy Gus today on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, I know Valentine's Day. This one's <laughs> called "Your Dentures <laughs> Fell Out." Oh boy. <laughs> All right. From a place called Kew Gardens. Uh, you were older and often had me come over. One day, while speaking your mind, your dentures fell out. <laughs> we, <laughs> we laughed. You seemed embarrassed, but kept talking. I miss those conversations and would love to come again. That's it. Hmm. So, How do you spell um, come? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is speaking his mind. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. His dentures fall. Speaking his mind, is this Q Gardens or Q Anon Gardens? <laughs> <laughs> you came over, you were dressed in shaman wear. <laughs> you were very early for the loving party and you were very angry about it. <laughs> you had your feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk. <laughs> 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 so as old people tend to do this guy <laughs> spoke his mind yeah, the dentures fell out and he kept talking <laughs> he was too busy yelling <laughs> at cloud <laughs> to stop and pick up his fucking teeth <laughs> like kids but... today and just can't stop the tick and talking <laughs> or whatever this is the first one of people who know each other yes right? they're not just yes passing by seeing a Bird faced man in the fire truck, right? With <laughs> bird faced man, Why is he a bird faced man. What no, happened burned. there? Oh, oh, burn face, bird, think, bird like the I animal. Said, I'm like, what? The, the firefighters known for having beaks, like, what is <laughs> going on? So, here? <laughs> saw Larry Bird in a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> he was rescuing yeah, people from face. building them and dunking them into the back of the truck <laughs> as he went. You could see his exposed jaw. <laughs> <laughs> you could see that his penis had burned off. Um, no, so, okay. Yeah. So this is one. Yes, okay. So they clearly both right. Like he he came back repeatedly to have conversations with this person. You know, he wasn't embarrassed by the fact that half his face fell off, not from burns, but from old and uh, <laughs> from old. <laughs> Why'd your teeth fall off old? Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's, and so clearly, like, he must have been into her because he kept coming back or at least she was just really good at sitting there silently while he ranted like a fucking insane mm-hmm. person about today's youth. 
Um, <laughs> he ranted for an hour and a half about today's youth while consuming more natural resources than any future generation will be able to. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> really taking this guy to fucking task. <laughs> Poor old fucking lonely man. <laughs> Finally gets a woman in his fucking room and he's got to worry about his fossil fuel intake from fucking Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I fought for this goddamn country and you're gonna get mad at me because I owned a Buick. <laughs> um, yeah, so so he was clearly into her. She's she's into him. I, I actually think that there's a pretty good chance, assuming he's not like dead. There we go. <laughs> right. Right. There's always that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, your teeth, your dentures fell out when you died, and your face smashed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you had a, you had a stroke, and your head jerked so much your dentures flew across the room. I miss those talks we had. All those holes in your teeth that you made. All those holes in the fucking ozone layer. You piece of shit. <laughs> you were speaking in your mind. I said Joe Biden. And then you had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were in the midst of a rant. I told you I identified as they, and you passed out and died. <laughs> I miss those talks. <laughs> Um, I just look I, like, a guy who rants so frequently and hard that his dentures falls out and he doesn't even put them back in does this to everybody it's like a that's a that's a Tuesday that's not like a notable encounter for him mm-hmm. um uh, I just picture him frothing at the mouth so yeah. much that it just lubricates. Like, when I was in the Great War, and- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I uh, reached for the TV remote. You saw my armpit hair and had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gaggy, what do you think about this guy that we've made? <laughs> <laughs> into the worst human alive, the most red pill asshole, <laughs> manga douchebag. If he didn't want to be like that, he shouldn't have gotten old. <laughs> <laughs> That's you came over to my apartment, and I was explaining about Hillary's emails, and then my dentures fell out. <laughs> Why can't we shoot the server? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I miss those times. <laughs> we just want to um, lock her up. Lock her up. <laughs> Release the Epstein list. Um, I, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, there's no chance. There's literally no chance of romance with this criminal. <laughs> okay. Next one is called Halloween Downtown. So this guy went back a couple months to try to see if he could <laughs> put someone he saw in Halloween. <laughs> you were a tall blonde wearing a creepy Minotaur costume. <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. Yeah, I'm into it. Walking down Pacific Avenue with the sexiest strut I have ever seen. It's nice to see a girl that can actually walk in high heels. But I, think, hooves. <laughs> but I think even if you had been dressed more modestly, it would have made the same impact. Just damn. Okay, so this guy has a hot for the Minotaur. <laughs> hot Minotaur with big jugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Show you his uh, Warhammer so- 2000. Uh- <laughs> okay, what do you think? Look, this one at least has specifics, as Chad talked about before. Like, at first, it's, you know, if you're like, oh, you went as slutty cat. And you're like, okay, that's half of Halloween. Like, you can't mm-hmm. narrow that down. But he gave a street name, and you were dressed as a, min- a minotaur, and you were tall, and you were blonde. Like, she probably knows who she is at this point. Yeah. 
So if she's reading Craigslist. So, um, and he was also, at least he pulled back the horny a little bit. He was like, look, even if you had clothes on, I would have found you hot. But since you didn't, let's fuck. Um, <laughs> let's be clear. He was not that classy with the way he said it. He was, he said, damn. Damn. I want to get behind a tar. Um, I, I think there's a Will chance Will you be here. mine a tar? They, that's a much better one. Mm-hmm. That's a Valentine's Day thing too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, Thanks. what do you think? Yeah, you're you welcome. Um, the okay, she knows who she is, so we've we've avoided mm. the firefighter driving a truck vagueness problem. Not too many sexy uh, mythical beasts. Dr- <clears throat> no, no, no. But she doesn't know who he is, and I guarantee she knows as a tall blonde with like a unique Halloween costume that probably was revealing. She, I'm sure she knows she was you getting stared at. Fucking by like creep! Listen, tons to this fucking of guy dudes just getting creepy. Yeah, like, <laughs> like she, she knows that dudes were being creepy on yeah, her like all night. Absolutely. So this one particular guy, it, by the way, four months later. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Is like one of like three thousand dudes that had the exact same thought, uh, and I'm sure she did not appreciate. You know, like all the all the staring and stuff like that, that that guys like this were doing. So I say no chance here. All right. Uh, This one is called. Are you a man with perfect bongos? Let me play them. (laughs) (laughs) From Pasadena. (laughs) Looking for a man with beautiful and precious cheeks to play as if I were playing with my bongos. (laughs) Let me tap them and make them play music for both of us. What? Send me some stats and perhaps even a picture of those bongos so I can see how they shape up. Stats? Right. <laughs> stats. <laughs> what are the what are like okay, I have a big ass, but I don't know my stats, right? Like <laughs> uh, uh, I vote a Spunkelmeyers. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think I can play a C flat. I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean I haven't tuned them lately, so you gotta start there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they meant like slapping out farts and stuff? Like to make different noises? <laughs> No, I think no, he just wants so. to spank his ass. Right. Like, dunk, 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 like on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little slide whistle. Yeah, she, she said bonkos, not trombone. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them stats. <laughs> All right, Chad, what do you think? Uh, okay, so she just wants <laughs> to hook up with some guy that that has a badonk a donk Um yeah, I mean, I think she's got a pretty good chance of finding a guy that wants to get his ass slapped. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is not easy. I mean, yeah. You know, like, I might respond to this ad. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, um, but uh, the old guy's like, back in the day, I did the ass slapping. <laughs> <laughs> These women, they think they can slap ass. Um, you had to at least buy a woman a phosphate at the soda jerk if you wanted to slap her ass all night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think there's a pretty good chance here. I can't even make out that tune. I remember when Dean Martin <laughs> played amazing bongos and Marilyn Monroe's ass. <laughs> I played Glenn Miller Orchestra on my wife's ass all night. All night. (laughs) Gaga, what do you think? Yeah. Okay. The answer is yes, only because you're asking a dude if he wants to have anything sexual happen to him, which the answer will be yes from like millions of guys who don't even have a nice firm playable ass with good stats well that's okay, what she asked some... for the picture and the stats yeah. i know but she's gonna get lots of, she'll she'll have her pick of oh she's got a work for cut litter. out for her yeah. sifting through replies yeah yeah it's gonna be a lot of pictures to go through a lot of stats to, to crunch the yeah. numbers to crunch uh <laughs> she needs to hire <laughs> some sabermetrics experts or something yeah she's <laughs> gonna figure out the, the, the those asses war and stuff <laughs> yeah bring in billy bean <laughs> what's the vorp of this guy's ass <laughs> we gotta figure it out um but no she's she's gonna have her pick of the litter to slap cheeks all night so um yeah no definitely high chance of romance here. what does this ass do it gets on base <laughs> <laughs> You gotta let this one play with your ass. Oh, is that hard? It's incredibly hard. 
(laughs) (laughs) All right. This one's called Looking for Lucy. This one's from Winnipeg. Okay. We met at KFC near Polo, and we connected instantly. We did some banging in the car. (laughs) (laughs) some (laughs) but you told me you had a boyfriend you told me that you (laughs) oh no you told me that you weren't in love but that you guys still did bang at the muffler shop (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) does she only bang people at businesses <laughs> I was hoping you might want to get drunk with me. My probation, o- <laughs> My probation officer said that I could still do some banging as long as I'm on my nine o'clock curfew. <laughs> okay. that, 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 is, that is not a sentence his probation officer ever said. <laughs> Look, you can still do some banging. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Uh, Phil, uh, what's the stands vis-a-vis banging? I still live in the basement of the pool hall with my dog. (laughs) 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 But I think I'm getting my own place soon. (laughs) Yours truly. God. Oh, this poor dog. What a fucking (laughs) pimp, this guy. (laughs) This man is a catch. <laughs> you know that shitty bar where they play pool? Why don't you go underneath it? That's where I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Look, I mean, I guess there's two. There already was some romance, <laughs> right? Banged. They did some banging. I don't know. But like, she is still banging her boyfriend. A guy at a muffler, muffler shop. shop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get, like, is it? Is it where they, like, they were mid bang and she's like, "Oh, by the way, I have a boyfriend at the muffler shop." Is that what he is like well, the type of guy that seems all that bothered by? <laughs> I think she'd forgotten about him, and then he's like, "Let me do some muff diving," and she's like, "Oh, muffler, yes, that's right, I have a boyfriend." I mean, <laughs> if you find a woman willing to bang you in their car at a KFC, then yeah, you could probably hook up with her again. I'm not trying to slut shame. <laughs> I'm just saying, it doesn't sound like <laughs> not out of the question. A real tricky now, deal to close. Now, if it was a Taco saying, Bell, it'd be a little different, okay? <laughs> a little we more upscale. Had, we had famous bowls, and then I banged you in the back of my Jeep. Right. <laughs> my probation officer said banging was cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> hey, bro, you can totally bang. All right? Lay off the weed. Get a job, report in, but bang away, my man. <laughs> so fucking... you say yes. Yes. <laughs> Chad, he already <laughs> had romance. My probation officer told me to tap dat ass. <laughs> he said, go buy some famous bowls and show her your famous balls. Uh... <laughs> okay. Your <old> famous balls. <laughs> <laughs> he also lives in the pool hall. Yeah, that's a cool that's place right. to live. Right. Yeah. <laughs> cool place to live. <laughs> Rack them up, baby. <laughs> Here's actually, the, I think th- these two fit together like two perfect puzzle pieces because he <laughs> he has he has a nine o'clock curfew, right? He has to be back by nine o'clock. She only fucks during business hours, right? Like that's, <laughs> that's what she does, banging out and about. So she doesn't she doesn't care that he doesn't like live on his own, right? Because like. Like she, if even if he did, she'd be like, "No, I want to meet in the parking lot of a fucking Carl's Jr. Let's go." You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> these two are a match made in heaven. They're the romance here. Hey, you got to be back by nine o'clock. The rest of the fucking day is bang o'clock, my man. Just fist bump them. <laughs> All right, last one here. This one's mm-hmm. called Five Points. Oh boy. On a lark, I dared you to show your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a lark. You didn't plan this out. <laughs> no. Nope. You you took the dare and pulled out your cock <laughs> and stroked it a few times. <laughs> I didn't ask semi- you to do that. That was a bridge too far. <laughs> got a little weird, I gotta be honest. Stroked it a few times, getting semi hard and brushing it up against my leg. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> getting a lot of control, yeah. We had had we not been in the five points crowd, I would have gotten you off. 
I know that you're just a fun guy, but is there any chance of seeing that hot cack again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the five point crowd? Uh, I'll, I'll bet this know. one's from Atlanta Craigslist because um, there's like a there's a there's a mall in Atlanta that's called like Five Points Mall. Oh, something like that. So, so, so uh, the dare is <laughs> show me your cack, <laughs> which you would assume <laughs> means flash the cack, right? Mm-hmm. But then, <laughs> not stroke the cock and rub stroke. the cock on my leg. <laughs> not In my the leg. middle of a crowd <laughs> <laughs> at a mall. <laughs> Meet me by the... all over five points. <laughs> yeah. Meet me by the Mrs. Fields. <laughs> rub your dick on my leg. <laughs> so, Chad, what do you think? <laughs> we went to the food court. We did a little banging in front of the KFC at the Five Points Mall. <laughs> uh, okay, so he just did he just did like a little bit of rubbing though, and then uh, yeah, and then put it away because they were in the crowd. Um, right, and so mm. I have a feeling this is not like this guy's first rodeo, you know, because he seems to have whipped it out and started like a routine. It seemed. You know, like like he's, he's... <laughs> he, he was he, he knew exactly what to do, right? He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like like if somebody asked me to whip out my dick in public and I decided to do it, I'd be very nervous about it at first. I wouldn't go immediately to stroking, right? There'd be like at least a 10, 20 count before I started doing that. Um, 10, so... 20 count? You leave it out for fucking five minutes? <laughs> I mean, I gotta, give, I gotta give the five points crowd a chance to admire, right? And like, <laughs> they're all like, "Where is it? It burned off." Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like they had some kind of spark of chemistry, though, or he's just a raging pervert. Uh, so, <laughs> probably the latter. So, I'm gonna go no chance. <laughs> yeah, you're how with this guy who uh, whipped it out by the. Um, dip and Dad's kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my probation officer says I can pull it out, but I cannot stroke it, so I might be in some trouble. He said I can only pull it out near the Sephora. Uh, I, 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 I guess the confusing part to me is if this guy wanted to bang you then, you could have just exchanged phone numbers since he was already humping your fucking leg at a mall. <laughs> like you didn't think to get his information at that point in time, or did yeah. he just like pull out a pen and then, like, write your digits on his shaft? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or did he just like hump and then immediately sprint away. I don't think so. this guy's getting all that far in a date. No, you don't think so? <laughs> keep it under control for nine seconds in front of hot topic. Well, but the, the, <laughs> look, this is the this this guy won the lottery. This is the first time this moved his results in someone wanting to see his cock again. So hey, let's see that cock. <laughs> oh, <just, laughs> <God, laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> he's like walks in. Let's see that cock. Oh, he's like already out. He's like jacking it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you were here. Uh, I usually have to do this down by the muffler shop. Uh, I would. I mean, there's a. I, that's also yeah. okay. You okay. said, "Let's see that crock," and your dentures flew across the room. <laughs> I went down to five points so I could yell at the teenagers and pull their pants up, and you pulled your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess there's like a decent chance of romance because again he's touched the dude's cock already or she mm-hmm. or whoever so there's at least a little sexual contact and energy between them he just has to hope this pervert uh, goes to Craigslist so yeah so I think that's pretty much what Craigslist I think the, the majority of the Craigslist traffic is perverts and Novak looking up segments so <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go to the last snack, uh, this uh-huh. is the bonus Craigslist. Oh, boy. Um, this one isn't about romance, but do you think this, the, the, this could end up with these people getting back together? Uh, it says, North Bay Posse, hoping to, be around, hoping to be able to round up some of the old group. I know one of us moved to the Tahoe region, one settled in Marin, another in Sonoma. Would like to get back in touch. Foodie, golf pro, the one-armed bandit old one 
All are welcome. <laughs> hit, <laughs> oh, hit, me old one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hit me up if this sounds like a grand old time. You know who you are. So look at Does that. Does he guy. not have Facebook? I don't know. Like... <laughs> That's from my neck of the woods. I like. I could be one of those one people. Of those. Yeah, You're foodie. <laughs> I, I'm probably foodie. Yeah, I'm, pro- I'm probably foodie. Yeah, 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 I've got two arms. I'm old, but not that old. What were the other ones? Was was like scoop or something? Foodie, <laughs> golf pro, golf pro, bro. Oh, definitely not golf pro. Otis Spunkelmeyer, scoop. <laughs> scoop. <laughs> Young sandwich. <laughs> Dem shoes. <laughs> Muffler, muff diver. <laughs> <laughs> Five I, points per all you up. Saggy jeans, long hair, lesbian. <laughs> get all over here so I can tell you what's going on about the world. <laughs> Soy boy. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> like the least creative nicknames ever. Golf bro. Because the dude like goes to the range every other week or something. <laughs> He goes to the range and whiffs on balls all day, shanks them to the left. Yeah, they call me golf pro in my friend group. What's what? Who's the one our bandit? What's his deal? He's the guy who gets arm burned off at the fire. Right here. <laughs> yeah. He was standing in the fire too long. <laughs> well, my arm's on fire. Well, it's just going to stand here while it disintegrates. Well, you know, cool, I'm going to give you the meanest fucking nickname I can come up with. <laughs> But I didn't even steal anything. Why the bandit part? (laughs) (laughs) Foodie. Foodie describes three-fourths of the population of the Bay Area. (laughs) Foodie. So (laughs) non-specific. Foodie. Tech bro. (laughs) Burning man visitor. (laughs) All right. That narrows it down. (laughs) Every fucking person. Guy on the Divi bike. (laughs) All right. We got Kelby. Is this my pote or my pote? Come on, man. It's your your podcast. Figure it out. I don't know. Either one of those words sounds Japanese at all. Yeah, I don't know. Chad, you know Japanese. What does this say? I, why do I need to know Japanese? These are English letters. <laughs> oh, what does this say? P O T E. These foreign letters. <laughs> I don't like these foreign letters. Like Novak hates these foreign ingredients. It's garlic herb butter is the flavor. So another buttery chip. This one looks like the seaweed one, actually, with the little bits of uh, green. But in this case, I assume it's garlic. Hmm. Oh boy, they're saltier than the others. There's Pretty strong garlic flavor. This container. I will say, you say two servings per container. Two servings. Wow, they fucked um, up. The... <laughs> There's two servings. There's 150 per serving, which you would think that means <laughs> there's 300 calories in the bag, but there's in fact 330 in the bag. <laughs> More Japanese math, with us. Yeah. <laughs> you dumb Americans won't notice. <clears throat> How are the Japanese so much smarter and their math is fucked? <laughs> <laughs> okay. These, they're pretty, they're almost like a weird mix between the two, honestly. <sighs> it's that butteriness that's throwing it off a little. It's not as strongly buttery as the first chip in my opinion uh, but it's sort of in the same vein as I actually think it might be a tiny bit better than that first one because the garlic offsets the just pure butter flavor uh, but I'm still just going to have to give this one another different to that I, I don't think they're very tasty they're edible but not great Gagger what do you think would you give them an indifferent yeah yeah I think they're good. I like them. I would say I put these right in the middle between the other two. So if I had to rank them, it would be seaweed first, poti second, and the on the um, uh, garlic or the herb or the butter one. The first one we did the butter chips um, last. But I kind of agree with Novak. I like the garlic flavor. Again, I like the consistency of the chip. It's got a good crisp to it. The butter is just a little too sweet. 
but it's not as prominent because the garlic flavor hides it a little bit. So um, I still like it. I'll still eat it, uh, but not quite as good as the seaweed one. Okay. Um, these things probably will not win based on the strength of that seaweed rating. Um, they have no shot, but Chad, what do you think? Well, I think I think I'm a little more positive on these ga- on these on these guys on these chips than you guys are. Um, I, I I I really like them. I think the the garlic flavor that's something that appeals to me. They are buttery, but they're not. There's there's not that sweetness that we got from the other chips. This is what I expected from like a buttery chip. Um, where it's, yeah, it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. I think the aftertaste is good. Again, I like the crisp. I, th- I think these are really, really good chips. And I was trying to decide then I'm like, oh, which do I like better between this one and the, the seaweed one? So I went back and ate, uh, some of the seaweed ones and, um, I'm actually going to revise, uh, my ratings here. Uh, as, so these potato Uh-oh. chips, these garlic, herb, and butter potato chips, I, I do really, really like them. I'm going to put them at a very high level like that. Mm-hmm. But I like the seaweed chips more, and I am going to bump them up to a love dad. They're really oh, wow, good. Wow. Crazy. Fuck. That's got to be one of the best uh, chip ratings yeah. that we have ever had on the show. Um, some pretty decent ratings overall. Um, for these three chips today, but the clear winner is the what's the company? Uh, Koikea potato chips seaweed flavor. Geiger. Yeah. Listeners, they want to talk to us. They want to they tell do? us their Valentine's love stories. Where can I contact them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You, whoever you are, sir, please do not. <laughs> not in the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my day, we would walk down the street and knock on someone's door if we wanted to talk to them. Where's your door? <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> one quarter portion. Um, if you, <laughs> I don't have a door. Angrier is the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's getting he's getting angry and having less control of his jaw and tongue as the day goes long. <laughs> um, if you have ever uh, drove a fire truck, you might be in, this might be your lucky day. If you work in a muffler shop in Winnipeg, heads up, bro, your girl might be banging some dude at a, at a, a fucking uh, KFC parking lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Check all the KFCs. Look at every KFC for a guy who lives under a pool hall. He is sinking the eight ball in her corner pocket. Um, he doesn't know yeah. the value of a dollar. <laughs> That's his problem with him. It's not that he's fucking his girlfriend. He's like, all right, he doesn't seem like a responsible saver. Uh, <laughs> I could bang while my dentures eat the chicken. <laughs> Throws his dentures into the restaurant. <laughs> I used to have <laughs> war bonds, and now I'm fucking NFTs are everywhere. I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> he listens to that rap shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very specific yep. complaint. Yeah, That's something yeah. my dad just said. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a rap sheet, and or, uh, she's got a rap sheet, and she listens to that rap shit. There, I did it right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. What's this Metallica shit? As my grandfather once loudly asked all the people going to the Metallica concert. Um, Clever. Yeah. The people going to the Metallica concert? So we were at... Uh, <laughs> we were at German Are you Fest. going to the concert? Okay, let me get this line out. <laughs> no, we were, we were at uh, summer, the Summerfest grounds here uh, up in Milwaukee, where the last day of German Fest, but they also had a Metallica concert at the amphitheater, so you had all these old crusty German people in lederhosen. And then you also had a bunch of people like Mohawks and like fucking spacer earrings there for the Metallica concert. <laughs> my, my, my grandfather asked me why they were there. And I'm like, oh, there's a Metallica concert. And then he would just go, what? And then he like real loudly, like, <laughs> what? what's this Metallica shit? And then uh, we got in the car and these idiots were like fucking hacking sack, like hacky sacking in the parking lot. We couldn't get out. And he, he was like, Yelled out the window, move! And like one of them laughed, and he goes, yeah, real funny, ass pipe. 
And I just started oh. dying laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Ass pipe. <laughs> Sir? <Good one. laughs> no, he was a friendly guy. But I mean, don't wear, yeah, don't have a mohawk. And... fucking friendly. <laughs> what are you... Hey, those so... guys were being ass pipes. <laughs> those fucking mohawks wearing ass pipes were hacky sack. Hey, let's go to the concert. Your fucking music sucks. Get the <laughs> fuck out of my way with your goddamn hacky sack. You Take that fuck. hacky sack. Shove it up nice... your ass pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that guy fought in the I'm Korean really War, nice. so you could. S- so you could hack a sack, all right? So just uh-huh. calm the fuck down. Um, yeah, no, he did, he was not enjoying himself uh, that juncture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can get all of us at utrendit at gmail.com. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook with the Utrend That group. We're on X, uh, hashtag you tried that. Let us know what you think of our snacks uh, and our snack ratings. Let us know if you think we should try a certain snack for the podcast. Um, if you do enjoy the podcast, please let your friends and family know. And, uh, if you are a, a frequent listener, we really, really, really appreciate it. And if this is your first time, welcome on in. They're all like this. All right. Before we go, <laughs> um, you have to nope. bang at a, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. at a fast food chain. You um, have to at a fucking pizza hut. <laughs> at, at a business. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is the any preferred? <laughs> yes. Corporate yes, headquarters a- of Exxon Valdez. <laughs> this is a preferred business. <laughs> <laughs> is there a preferred? Is there a preferred business? <laughs> like a hotel? <laughs> They've got no. beds and shit. <laughs> that's kind of what you do there. Oh my God. The Bunny Ranch. That's what I want to bang. <laughs> <laughs> a whorehouse. But it's it's in the parking lot of the it's business? Or? <laughs> uh, parking lot or bathroom. Or drive through of the Burger King. <laughs> Stumping her in. Does any one place make more sense than another? I mean... Mattress store? Yeah, like, like, probably some, like, it makes, like, I'll tell you what doesn't make sense is, like, banging outside a school or is it you know like our preschool or something like, yes common the business classic plays of elementary business. school <laughs> a, like okay fine a, a kuman learning center right like, that, that does not make sense okay? that is the most specific business you could have possibly made <laughs> If you're going to whip your dick out at the mall, move away from Claire's, please. <laughs> no gymboree for you, please. <laughs> I don't know. What makes the most sense? I don't know. Fucking Cinnabon. <laughs> he shizz and it blends in with the frosting. I don't know. What no, fucking yeah. is. <laughs> That's it. Yep. <laughs> You'll no, never know. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I nailed it. It's Cinnabon. <laughs> Case I cra- closed. Cracked the code. <laughs> and he probably picked somewhere. If you have to be inside, mm-hmm. pick somewhere where there's a place to hide or something. So like, well, like a like pro shops. <laughs> aren't like <laughs> Home Depot like or something. Movie theaters constantly having Home people banging Depot. them. <laughs> Home Depot. He just set up like four <laughs> giant boards. <laughs> Get in here! Yeah. Won't be able to see us. Ah, I think Jane's out in the lumber yard getting rail. Uh, Love yeah, to I mean, rail like, on a hard, so cold cement floor. It's like my any place, place to do it. American any, mattress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a mattress store. Any place that's got a dressing room, um, uh-huh. like a like a like a movie theater is dark. At least you could maybe like sit on their lap and like grind around a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, what else? I haven't really thought about it. A library, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> library? Yeah, probably not a library. I am. Oh God! <laughs> I'm praying. I'm trying to read a book. Could you quiet down your banging? <laughs> I'm in the periodical section. Would you cool it with the bongo music? <laughs> <laughs> A public library used to be a sanctuary. (laughs) Excuse me, sir. (laughs) Old man sitting at a table trying to read a book. There's people fucking like all around. (laughs) 
<laughs> one person just a dude's naked ass just gets shoved on the table right in front of him and they start boom ba boom boom He refuses to look away from the book. <laughs> Alright. That's gonna do it for this time. We'll be back next time trying to show you some brand new things. Yeah. And myself on Tess's ass playing the butt drums. One, two, three, four. Her teacher already turned.